My name's Darren, welcome to my workshop. Now, I'm in the middle of a much bigger project at the moment and I was filming that and I thought to myself, this part that I'm filming really needs to be its own separate video. It, uh, it would just bulk out the main video too much and throw it into the hour-long video category, which I myself don't watch and I don't expect you to watch either. So what I'm showing you today is how to make a dado using a Festool track and a router. Uh, specifically, I will be using a Festool FS1400, in other words, a 1.4 meter Festool track, and the OF2200EB router. And quite simply, I'm just showing you how to make long dados, things that are too long to do on an MFT3 table, and I prefer doing them on with a router to doing them on the table saw. Be a lot of passes to cut that out with just a standard thin blade. I don't have a dado set on the table saw, so this is the way I do mine. All right, stay tuned. So I'm going to use my woodpecker's story stick to mark this out. Uh, I've set this to 300 mil, which is how far down from the top our first shelf is. So I hook that on the end. Let's just uh, double check that. I know it's spot on because I've actually already done this, but the microphone fell out. So, if we just double check that that's 300 mil, it's always good to you know, measure twice, cut once, that business. So both of those agree. That's our 300 mil point. And we're just gonna go ahead and mark that up now. There's a few steps I take to make sure I get a tight fit and a nice neat cut. Um, and so firstly, obviously, is I mark out the dados. So that's one dado and that's the other one. And that's where they're going to be cut. But then I measure a line. It doesn't have to be a specific distance. I just used the width of a ruler in this case. So measure a line back from here and draw some reference points at the either end and centre. And then I use those to actually align the saw, uh, align the track with. And the reason I align them way back there and not hard pressed up against, when you put the router on, you can see by nature it's got this hole. Oh no, you can't. You can't see it from there. Okay, so you can see the nature of the guide system is it runs on this ridge in the track and the router is somewhat offset or the router bit is somewhat offset from the track you could possibly run the bit hard up against this cutting edge that the saw uses but you just chew it up and quite unnecessarily so what i do i mark a couple of points one either end i've got one in the middle as well just to make it easy to see well easy for me to see anyway i don't know how well you can see that that's why i'm pointing. Um, so I then, and these of course are parallel to the dado, that's very important. And so then I align the track with those lines instead, clamp, it in, it, clamp everything in place and uh, move on to the next step. And so step two is assuming of course we've put the router bit in and uh, everything like that connected everything up i've disconnected the power that's important for this step because i've lifted the dust uh, shroud out of the way and i'm going to put my fingers in there and adjust the router bit so i've got now my cutting blades of the router bit at 90 degrees to the line and what that now allows me to do is adjust the depth stop which is oh, sorry not the depth stop the uh the distance adjuster on the track which is that green knob there so I loosen off the black knob at the back adjust the green knob until this is just touching the inside of one of the lines because don't forget initially we're going for a tight fit so here I go in. we're just gonna move that out a bit loosen that off and away we go so I've pushed it into the center a bit now I'm just gonna bring it back here it comes until it's just touching that line. And I'm just gonna pinch this light for a sec and just double check it. Yes. All right. So then we lock this handle back in place. 
So you can see down here at the other end now, we're just on the line. So now we know that our track is perfectly parallel to our dado. So we're ready to go. And we only have to do this once for each dado and it does get quicker than this, trust me. But anyway, that's good to go. I've got a 10 mil router bit in there. And the reason for that is because my next size up is 12.7, which is too wide. I've noticed that the plywood seems to vary between about 11.6 mil and uh, about 12.2 mil. So there's a bit of variation there. All right, so I guess that was just uh, step three. So that would make this step four. So what we're gonna do here in step four is we're gonna turn the power off again. All right, um, I'm just gonna test that here. Yeah, all right, power's definitely off because we're gonna lift the shroud again. Click that in place and put our fingers in there. And again, spin the route a bit so it's at 90 degrees to the lines we're cutting up against. So we're going to loosen off this knob at the back and then use this adjustment screw to wind the router bit away from the, sorry, the router and the bit <laughs> away from the fence until we're almost kissing the inside of this line. Now what we'll, we should end up with is a fit that's too tight. I've got a scrap of uh, the same timber here that we're going to use as a test fit and it should be too, too tight after the first pass and we should have to move the, um, the router a little bit further away from the fence to get the final cut. Sorry for the shakes folks. Okay so you can see I'm winding it up to the line, up to the line. Just kissing it now for my real eyeballs. Yep. All right, so that's just kissing the inside of the line. So like I said, we're gonna take it back a tiny bit now. Just ever so slightly. There we go. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Yes, you can, especially if I zoom in. There we go. See, we've got a very tiny gap now between the router bit and the pencil line. Ideal, so we're going to run that, uh, do a test fit which should, shouldn't fit, move it over a tiny bit more, run it again, and we're just going to keep doing that until we get a perfect fit. It should only take two passes. Take our test piece. Sure enough, won't fit. So then we sneak up on the line a little bit more. Whoops. And lucky me, the blade just happens to have stopped the right way. Ha, excellent. That doesn't happen often. All right, loosen off the knob. Adjust the green knob. Slide it over a little bit, tighten the black knob, release the cowl for the dust extraction, and away we go. Okay, so now we're going to do a test fit with our off cut of the plywood and we're just going to push it down and that's a lovely fit. That went in um, without having to hammer it in and if I disconnect the track and everything you'll see what kind of fit we've got. Okay, so a dado uh, piece pushed into the dado easily and how tight is it? Let's see. There you go. How tight a dado do you need? <laughs> Pushes in, but stays in. That's what I like. So we should still be able to get some glue in there. There you go. That's how to make a tight-fitting dado with a Festool track and router. 
Okay, well, I hope that's been of some help. And uh, you'll see the rest of this unfold as to what it actually is shortly. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.